Linda Cube is a time-limited hunting RPG released in 1995 on PC Engine and released again in 1997 on PlayStation and Sega Saturn. The game was made by Shoji Masuda, who, one month after the release of Tengai Makyu Majimalu, began the writing of two new RPGs, Ore no Shikabane Okoete Yuke, and Zu in the even Linda Cube's prototype. Linda Cube conception had actually started four years earlier during the development of Tengai Makyu Majimalo, while the staff members were fed up with its many postponements and wanted to start a new project totally different. Yet many elements and ideas of Linda Cube will be picked up from Tengai Makyu Majimalu, and in the end, most of the staff behind Majimalu worked on Linda Cube. In a way, Linda Cube is both the closest game to Majimalu and its perfect opposite. <laughs> Linda Cube takes place on Neo Kenya, a planet doomed for destruction within eight years by a giant meteorite impact. Ken and his girlfriend Linda should collect pairs of animals, males and females, during the eight years' lapse time before the destruction of Neo Kenya and migrate to another planet with a spaceship called the Ark. Shoji Masuda took inspiration on a book called Endangered Animals and on Noah's Ark as described by the Bible who tells the story of a man who gathered animals in order to save the world. In Linda Cube, the hero is not a hero as there are no enemies, therefore the planet's destruction cannot be stopped. The original game being released on PC Engine, the staff would follow the console's trademark and add a story about a pretty girl. As a result, the overall storyline became more prominent. However, the game was meant to concentrate on game mechanics and Shoji Masuda didn't want the story to decide how the game would flow. As it was contradictory, the staff decided to create three distinct scenarios, A, B and C, and a fourth scenario, was later added to the PlayStation and Sega Saturn versions, each scenario having a different but complementary story development in a parallel universe. 
Masuda said that at the beginning of the project only Scenario C existed, but because the game mechanics were not properly introduced, they added Scenarios A and B as training scenarios. The pretty girl and the three scenarios became the selling point of the game, hence the decision to name it Linda Cube. It was a rather typical constraint for Shoji Masuda to write the same scenario three times, with some variations, and to use the same world and the same characters. The union of the three scenarios was made in an unexpected way. For example, events experienced in Scenario B do have repercussions on Scenario C. Some story questions posed by Scenario A are resolved in Scenario B. Additionally, some strange story events have been intentionally created thanks to this. Sometimes one script will take a serious turn while the other script will parody the same events. Moreover, scenarios A and B are designed in a rather linear way, so that the player moves to scenario C, which is the closest one to the original spirit of the game. What makes the game work so well is the coherence and harmony between the game systems and the story elements, achieved by removing all non-essential parts and script scenes that do not serve the game. The game is fun no matter how the player experiences it. The world map is fully accessible from the start of the game and the player can make his way to the farthest place in the world. One of the most striking game systems to be found in Linda Cube is the famous season system, which is basically a failed idea from the development of Tengai Makyu Majimaru. It was during the creation of Tengai Makyu Majimaru that Shoji Masuda envisioned the implantation of a season system that would influence the life of the characters in the world of Tengai Makyu and therefore of the player. But the many production problems forced him to put aside that idea only to integrate it later in Linda Cube. Indeed, in Linda Cube, the time flow in real time according to the internal clock of the game and the seasons pass over the year, modifying animals' behavior and therefore the way to coaching them. Life flows from the four seasons and the effects of climate changes and this is even more evident in the case of animals which hibernate or hunt seasonally. The animals are visible on the map and it is possible to avoid them or to hunt them. Some animals will flee and it will be necessary to use the dash which uses earth points in order to catch and fight them.
Their reactions are quite realistic. If some animals will run away from you, other bigger animals won't hesitate to attack you. Some, such as wolves, move in packs depending on the season, while others hibernate and will be difficult to catch depending on the time of the year. Battles are very classic. You play Ken and Linda and can be accompanied by 10 hunting dogs that you can buy at the camp or capture on the map. Two hunting dogs will assist you in combat. The others will serve as reserve dogs. You can not control your dog's reaction in battle and each one have his own behavior. To capture animals, it will be necessary to recon them without totally ruining them. For instance, a powerful attack can tear off the animal's leg without killing him, but it can no longer be captured. Therefore, there are two kinds of battles. Either kill the animals or capture him and register him for the hour. Additionally, when Ken and Linda's experience level is high enough, it will be possible to summon a registered animal into battle so that it can fight for you. Captured animals can also be sold or transformed into food or equipment. Experience points are awarded to Ken and Linda when you register the captured animals in the Orc. This is the only way to gain new attacks or transformations and adapt to the field variations and nature changes which modify the ability of your characters in battles. The character design is gorgeous, mature and unrivaled within the RPG genre. It was made by Tanaka Tatsuyuki, famous for his work on the movie Akira as a key animator, but also on Fushiji no Umi no Nadia's animated series. The music, made by Ryoko Kiara, is also of high quality. She will return on Ore no Shikabane Okuete Yuke.
Linda Cube was finally released in 1995 on PC Engine as a psychological thriller and hunting RPG and become one of the few neck games not recommended to under 18 years old players because of its adult game aspect and not for hypothetical anti-sense which do not exist in Linda Cube then will be ported to PlayStation and Sega Saturn under the name Linda Cube again, respectively in 1997 and 1998. This again version contains a full scenario even closer to the original spirit of the project than Scenario C, and offers brushed up graphics and animations and restores some programming issues. All versions are restrained to Japan only, but there are a few fine guides on the internet that you can Google Translate in English. Yeah. 